So in the last part, what we have done is we have instead of creating the bin object manually, we can use something called as use bin. So the advantage here is whenever you create a bin, it will check that bin is available in the particular scope or not. If it is available in the particular scope, it will not create the new instance, it will use the same instance. So since we are mentioning it as session, the scope of my uh, application or the, of, this, of this bin, it will be session. So it will search that bin in the particular session. Okay. So in this scenario, in the load page, it is creating the instance and in display page, it is using the same instance and that's the advantage. Okay. Now, let's say, uh, so I, 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 I'm sure that uh, till now you have cleared all your concepts, right? So before moving forward, I will ask you, because uh, this is the ideal time to ask something from you. Uh, if you like this video, do, do, do let me know by liking my video. You can see a thumbs up there. Please like it so that I will know that if this type of videos are working for you or not. And please comment if you need some modification, if you need this color to be changed, or if you need some more tutorials. So I will make sure that your comment will be processed and I will create a video on that. And you can also subscribe. Yeah. So let's continue with that. So that was the promotion part. Yeah. So now uh, what we can do is we'll, uh, if you see how many parameters I'm passing, I'm passing only two parameters, right? I'm passing a roll number and a name. But let's imagine, let's say you have a bin in which you have 10 variables and all the 10 variables values will be coming from the user side. When you know you have 10 objects in your 10 variables in your object and user will be sending all those 10 values, then why you're setting the properties manually? What if you can just ask the, your set property to, to do the favor? What I mean by that is why to mention which value will go to which property? What if it done it, 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 it's doing all the things automatically? That is possible if you are using something called a star here. Now what this star means, in fact you don't have to pass specify the value also. So what this star simply means is it will assign all the required values depend upon the name. Since I'm using a name here which is roll number, it will give this type, this value to the particular bin or particular variable of your bin. So it does it automatically, just mention, just you have to mention here star. And then uh, in display, you can fetch the value. You cannot, you cannot use star while fetching. You have to mention each and everything here. Now, enough of this line. We can directly use use bin. Enough of this line also. We can directly use use bin. Just look at the code, how many number of lines we are using. We're just using use bin, set property, forward the request. We are going here, display, and just we are creating the object of bin. And we can use this bin in the same page multiple times. You don't have to create it again and again. You don't have to cast it just because we are mentioning the class name. We just have to fetch the, fetch the properties. And now if you run this, so I hope you remember we have used a star there. We are not uh, fetching, specifying the values individually. So they have, if we got any error, so that's a bad luck. We'll say this time the name is Mehul. And if I say submit, oh, it's working, right? So with those stars also, it is working. That means whenever you use, use bins, you get lots of advantages. So we don't have to specify the scope. We don't have to set the attribute. We, can, we have to specify the scope. We don't need to mention the set property for each and every variable. We can just specify the star there. And we don't need to create a new instance. We can fetch the last instance available in the particular scope. So in fact, uh, when you talk about the scope, you have lots of options. You have option of page. You have option of application. You have option of uh, uh, session. And you have option, yeah, that's it. Yeah, you, have, yeah, you can also have option of request. This time going for the session, session scope. So that is from usebin. So I hope you got uh, the idea how to use usebin in your project, in your application. So if you like this video, please click on the thumbs up. Uh, do comment for your suggestions, your request, and do subscribe for the further videos. Thank you so much for watching.